Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. Keep on. And it is Transformers Week still for this week, and we are doing another Transformers figure, and this is the Target Master. Aimless, and yes, he is a Target Master Decepticon. And yeah, this is from Siege, and these are the Battle Masters, aka Target Masters. So yeah, a little bit of bio on him. Aimless was one of the original Decepticon Target Masters next to Blowpipe. I forget which bot he went to, since I haven't watched Generation Season 3 much in a long time, so it's been a while. But before that, we get on to... Showing off the packaging, we're gonna, we are gonna show off the packaging real quick. You got a nice product shot of Aimless blasting some Autobots with a big gun and be like, take this Autobots, ah. going all, totally Arnold Schwarzenegger and terminating some Autobots with a big cannon thing they, thing it can do. And this is siege compatible or any other line it will be compatible i lost the blast effects when i'm open this thing so you won't be seeing that but now we're gonna get down to some some comparisons with some other target master transformers they've got the power to surprise got another one here and this one they're both from the transformers siege Skywarp. So that's why the comparisons. And yeah. Nice looking figures. Really good detail. But now we're going to arm him with a bot to show off that he's compatible with any bot. So we got some work to do here, right here. But here we got Aimless on Scourge. So we can have himself a target master. It's almost matching his colors, so go pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. And that's all there is to say for this epic robot in his combined gun mode. But now we're going to transform him into his robot mode. And sorry about that voice in the background, that was my mom for some reason. I'll get to her when I get done, but here we got Aimless in his robot mode, looking very good. His backpack can come off, but he can use this as a cannon. They all have that gimmick, so he can go pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. I love to say that word, pew pew, bang bang. It's the thing you can do with these toys. But now, we're going to get him back, gun on his back again, and a nice looking Decepticon and the paint and sculpting is really good even the little Decepticon insignia but now we're going to do some comparisons by transforming the other target masters and doing a group comparison here we got this one I'm bad with its name but it came with Skywarp if you know then please leave me a comment on this video this one, I don't know its name either. But we're going to put him into his robot mode like so. And they look pretty good for Decepticons. And one final Target Master comparison before we end this video. What this Target Master looks like next to the Universe Classics Target Master blowpipe and i have had that figure for a very long time since i got him from still city con but here we got blowpipe next to aimless and they look pretty cool don't they do i highly recommend transformers siege aimless he's a cool looking robot and a cool looking gun that looks good on any transformers figure and I am so glad to add this to my collection. And he is worth the money. And I got him for seven bucks. 
Not bad for a Target Master. That's all there is to say for this review. Seti Hill. Moving on. And before I move on and rock on and rock out, we're going to do showing off what we're going to do next week. Because I want to show you what we're going to do next week that I got from work. And this is the Lego Creator Series train. This is what we're doing starting Sunday. So we're going to be doing something we haven't done in a while. Eddie Hill build stuff. Now we can move on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land. Bye.